hello students this video we are going to see about how to draw the hypocycloid first we can see about the question draw a hypocycloid of a circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls inside a circle of diameter 200 mm for one revolution also draw a tangent tangent and a normal to the hypocycloid at a point 50 mm 50 mm from the center of the directing circle so first we should very clear how the hypocycloid will rotates so here in the epicycloid this is a circle means the directing circle means it will be rotating the circle rolling circle will be rotating in this way by clockwise okay suppose it is a hypocycloid means which rolls inside here the circle will be like this way which means the directing point which will be touching the base here this is the base it, it will be touching here it has to rotate in this order it has to rotate in this order so this is the way so your profile will come this sort so this is the understanding now we can draw the circle so here first we can find out the point center point this will be o so here we can identify this is 200 mm radius means the center will be from the center the 200 mm diameter means the center will be from the center the radius will be 100 mm we fixed it and next the rolling circle diameter is 50 mm so the rolling circle radius is 2.5 so from here itself we can take this is 2.5 mm so this is the center point so here you can take the 2.5 mm of radius already we have fixed for this radius i need to draw the circle on it i drawn the circle now i am going to fix all the divide into eight equal parts by taking 45 degree and 90 degree in both the sides 45 degree 90 degree and here a 45 degree so i am going to take divide this into eight equal parts this is one point again this is another point now here i'm going to take it so totally i have divided this into eight equal parts now i am going to measure the calculation so here the calculation part is the theta degree that angle will be 360 into smaller d divided by capital d that will be equal to 360 into 50 divided by 200 so already we have done this calculation and the value will be 90 degree the 90 degree has to divided by 8 equal sections so that it will be 11.25 you will be getting okay so you can take the calculation now easily take your protractor and mark 90 degree and also mark the in between distances 45 and here 11.25 and here 1 5 okay and here 
and then 22.5 and here now from here 1 1.5 and then here 22.5 this is the point so now we got all the lines so now I am going to extend this line already we have taken this for 100 mm here also we can take it for 100 mm Hundred mm I have taken. Now I can connect this. So here first baseline. I will take the baseline here. Next at this point. Next at C center point, I made it like this and next at this point, I made it and next then finally here. So these are my points. Now I am going to divide this into 8 equal parts. So I have divided this into 8 equal parts. Now finally I am going to give the name. I am going to give the name. The name are, this is O and this is C, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8. This is 8 dash, this is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. So here why I have named this area means here this line is the bottom line because your rolling circle will be rotating, rolling in this order. So here you need to give name in this order so that the next point here it will touch in this way and next point will touch here and third point, fourth point like that it will be going on. So I am going to name, name it here, this is 1, 2, 3 and this is 4, 5, 6 and this is 7. So totally these are the name. Now, now I am going to take the arc. The arc is here I am going to measure it for 2.5 already it is there. First arc I am just made it. And for the second arc, C1 as the center and the first line, first point locus. There I made an arc, then C2 as the center and the second point locus. There I made a, another one, arc. And C3 as the center, third point line. Here I made an arc. Then for C3, I am just making here for C4. Keeping C4 as the center, keeping C4 as the center and fourth point locus, I am drawing the arc, it will cut it here, then C5 as the center and fifth point, I am just making an arc and C6 as the center, sixth point locus and C7, here I will make it, seventh point locus. And for C8, I will make it here. So totally, now we are going to draw the curve. So by holding your pencil like this, you can draw gently like this. So this is your curve. So for a thin line, I just drawn. Now 
for our video purpose I am drawing it by a dark line with use of sketch. So we made it. Okay. So this is the epicycloid. On this epicycloid, I am just going to find out the point to draw the tangent and normal. So in the question they have said take 50 mm. So this is 50 mm. From 50 mm, the center of the directing circle on the curve. So here it will fall on. So this will be the point. So this will be the point on this point. Okay. On this point, I am just going to make it. For this point, I need to do it means, first of all, I need to take the 25 mm. 25 mm and from here to the center, it will be crossed here. So, so again, I got it here. So, this will be the same point. So, this is the normal here now. The same line will be the normal the same line will be the normal and for here we need to find out the tangent the tangent will be Okay, so this is your normal and tangent. So for the hypocycloid, the final touch, we need to write the name and we need to write this. All dimensions are in mm and also this dimension 50 mm, pi is diameter and the whole radius 100 and then I also colored this normal and the tangent. So this is the method of doing hypocycloid. Thank you.